Okay, so now the fun bit, actually using the Gmail creator, some best practices. So um, you can create the one-off email and you have that option here. Oh, I forgot to clear it up. So I've already transferred them. Let's just delete all of them and we'll do the whole importing and everything. Let's just delete that, great. All right, so with with the Gmail Creator, you have two options. You have the new and you have the import. The new just opens up. If you're familiar with Browsio, you guys know what this is. You can put your name and profile name, proxy, so that the proxy you're going to be using it on, uh, and all the other information you want to connect to this um, as a profile. So you can create your profile here already, get the email created, and then sync that with Browsio if you're using Browsio. If not, then you can just use it to create the one-off. You can have a template, or it's up to you. Now, the import is a little bit more um, involved and a lot more effective and a lot easier to deal with. Okay, so um, the way that this one works is we import a file, and then we're able to um, dynamically decide what goes where. And I'm going to show you right now. First thing we want to do is go to fake name generator. Fake name generator. And go to order in bulk. You guys probably never even noticed that, those of you that have gone. And um, we're thinking about adding in the API so that we don't even need to do this stage. So let's, let's, let's wait and see. But for now, we go to order in bulk and just pick whatever it is the name set that you're um, country you're targeting, United States, um, male or female. I like to pick either or, um, so we'll go with female audience now, and then the names. Given name, surname, and then the order really doesn't matter. Um, username I don't include because I like to make my own custom usernames, but we can have the field there, and then we can have the password there as well okay so now you got the the first name last name username password Oop. and then street address city state abbreviation postcode country abbreviation is good enough and then birth date okay so we want the birthday in there as well um just click up Again, it's, it really doesn't matter which order. I'm just, you know, it's up to you. But for me, it's just easier doing it like this so that I don't have to mess around with too much stuff when I'm importing it. Okay, so that's all I'm going to need. And then I'm going to order however many I want. You can order up to 50,000 of these and just keep ticking off of them. Let's put my email in. And then Marcellus. And place your free order. And then that'll just get sent to you in, in, oh wait, you must accept the terms and conditions. Okay, terms and conditions, um, 107, place your free order. I typed the capture wrong, great. We love these things, don't we? 100, place your free order. Okay, great, so that was done. That's sent to your inbox. And then you'll just get a zip file full of um, usernames. So it takes a few minutes. I'm going to press pause and then go and get that file. Okay, so here it is. Um, free order is ready. And all you got to do is click on the link. And then you can download a zip folder with all of the names. And just go into the fake name generator. Actually, do I have a fake name generator folder? No, not yet. We should do. I'll, we'll do that next. So open up the file, right click, extract, and here's the file. Open that up. And now we've got all of our usernames and everything. The only edits that you have to make is depending on what your customizations are, what you want to do are the usernames. Like if you want custom usernames, then I would change these out. Um, and then the date of births, right? So let's do incrementally, let's do um, in, in uh, groups of 20. Actually, it's 19 because of that up there. So we'll do this group. So what I like to do, and it's entirely up to you how you go about this, 
But the way that I like to do this is I grab the first name, last name, bring that over here, just paste that in. Then I take the date of birth and I cut that and paste that in there. And now I can basically, I want to edit that out because the, 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 um, this needs to be comma separated value for it to be imported. Okay, so it's very simple stuff, okay? Just stay with me. So all I'm going to do is take the dates, paste them into here. Copy. Paste them into there. And then I'm going to just right click. Uh, sorry, not right click. Control, Control H and forward slash. And I'm going to, and I'm going to, um, replace the forward slash with a comma and replace okay i'm going to come back to the excel spreadsheet and you could probably do this in excel in other ways but i'm really not an excel guy so this is how i do it and you come and you use the text import wizard okay so now i've pasted that in using the text import wizard so next and i want to use comma separated values so now they're all separated down here and then next and finish and that then brings them all in here and sometimes it does this weird thing by doing that again so i'm going to just delete that and all i really want are the years and then i'm gonna i can add them to here and use these as my project names to make sure that they're unique so this could be my username Right, so then my project name. So this will be my project name. So I copy that and come back to here, paste that back in, and then I highlight these areas here and copy that space there. And it's going to be a lot bigger than that because it's a tab. Okay, and then you do Control H again, and then Control V, and you've just pasted in that blank space, and you just want to one space so you're replacing all of that blank space the blank tab with just one space so you have a nice normal um formatted name username and now you can take this but before i do that i'm going to add a column okay actually we should add a few columns for the username now as well so i'm not going to use the username here i'm going to get rid of that username um where did it go? There it is. Okay, so this is the project name. So you could just paste that in there. Whoops. Come down there, paste that in there. And then I'm going to have the username in there. And the username, the username I am generally have like this. So I get rid of the 19 by just copying and then control H again. And then paste that in and then get rid of the space and replace it with nothing. So that you just got the last, so it's the date of birth. And then you can come in here and replace these spaces, Control H, Control V, and you make sure there's no space in there and you're replacing the space with no space so that you have a nice formatted username. And then you just come and you paste that in here. Okay, and that's it. So I'm gonna get rid of the username here because I want it to be a little bit more custom here. And then the date of birth. Okay, so this is, this is the thing with the date of birth. The date of birth, hmm, I've gotten rid of, haven't I? So, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is what I wanted to do. So we had 21 there. We'll use these date of births, whatever. For now, uh, do 22, 42. Okay. So I want to come back here and get these date of births in again. Right, but I need to just make sure that they're comma separated value. So I'm just looking for the forward slash again and replacing it with the comma and replace them all. And then you paste that copy paste in here and then use text import wizard next. And we're not going to use a space, just the comma and next. And like that, they'll all be in a separate. Ah, uh, yes. You need to make sure that you have enough space there. So insert and insert another one. Okay, so we've got three spots. Use text import wizard. Next, 
comma only. Next, import. And there you have it. Okay, so I've overwritten some stuff. Whatever, it's fake name generator. It really doesn't matter. It's just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so now we have this. All the information that we need. We have the project name, the username, first name, last name, password, date of birth, address, town, state, and all the other information. Okay, so I'm just going to copy all of that like this. And you don't need to have an Excel for this to do to do um, CSV. It could just be literally comma separated value without as an actual CSV. So you're going to paste that in here. And you always get this beautifully formatted text pad. It looks all over the place, but it's really perfectly formatted. So all you need to do is grab a space here, highlight that, copy that, then control H again, paste that big space, that big tab in there, and replace that with a comma. So everything is going to be comma separated. So everything's beautifully comma separated. Everything's done. Everything's perfect, ready to be imported into Browsio. So now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 profiles. Okay, so I have 16 profiles that we're going to save, and we're going to import them now. Browsio Creator, 16 demo emails. Okay, so let's go back to the Gmail Creator and import. And here we have the Dynamic Projects Importer. And we want to grab these 16 demo emails, and then it opens up like that. And then all you do is you name the top. So this was the project name. That is set already as the project name. That's the username. So we set that as the username. First name. Last name. Password. Date of birth. This is the, the, day, the month. This is the day. This is the year. Oops. This is the year. So day, month, year. This is the street address. Let's just move this over a little bit. Street address. And that is the state. City, I mean. This is the state. This is the zip. And this is the, the country code. And you could do this for 100 or 200 and just have them sitting there. Or you can do it for a 500 and just have them sitting there in your creator and just create them import as they go, you know, because they're just sitting there until you actually create them. They're not dead. They're not alive. They're nothing. OK, so you can do a thousand of these, 500 of these, just load them up into your Gmail creator and then just create two, three, one, five at a time, however you need them. OK, so let's just double check everything. Country, zip, state city street year birthday birth month password last name first name username and project name great oh and by the way if you're really lazy and you don't even want to get csv and you just want to basically use any other thing so you 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 know you want to use a bar a a one of these um an equal sign whatever it's up to you but comma separated value is generally the easiest everyone i mean you know, it's up to you. But yeah, you can do that as well in any format that you want to use as a separator. Okay, so import projects down here when we're done. And projects created successfully. We can now close this down and we'll now have all these projects over here on this side. And you just need to click them and start and we're good to go. So that's how you get projects created. The best way is to add them in, add as many as you want. Click, 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 get three created, import those, use those. Then just leave these here until you're ready to create them, until you need them, instead of importing and creating them. I mean, unless you're running an account creation business, then, you know, you want to age them. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you're doing with this, just, you know, this is how I would suggest using it. You are going to have your own ways of using it and doing it. But the main thing to take away from here is how 
to import them and to just import in bulk and then just use them as a needed. I mean, if you want to use it one at a time, it's up to you. OK, so I hope that made sense. It was a little bit in depth, I know, and I covered some pretty funny looking technical things and controls. So please go back and watch it again and then watch it one more time and then go ahead and import and do it yourself. And it's really easy. It's just a little bit looks a little bit overwhelming, maybe with all of the data from it from that field. But it's really, really simple and easy. OK, guys, I'll see you in the group. Right. And proxies, very important. So you have to make sure to populate these first and then click more proxy settings and then they'll be there because otherwise if you click proxy settings then before the projects are in there won't be any projects to associate them to so just multi paste them all in in that format ip port username password click ok it will auto populate and click save and you're good to go all right guys um see you in the group